Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at validators in a Rails app. This is going to be a beginner friendly active record introduction. We're not going to be covering any of the like super advanced ultra uber special validator stuff. Uh, just a general idea of how these work and how you can make sure that your data is being validated. To get started, we're going to create a new Rails app. I'm going to say Rails new, I'll call mine video and we can pass in whatever we'd like to here, dash J for ES build, dash C for bootstrap, if you wanna use bootstrap or tailwind or something like that. Uh, we can also pass in a dash D for PostgreSQL if you would like. In my case, I'm not gonna use any of those. I'm just gonna use the video app. Uh, because I'm on Ruby 3.2, there's currently some issues with using those commands. Uh, until Foreman gets updated, you have to do some extra setup and, and you guys really don't care about that. Okay, so we can now CD into our video. We can run a code dot to open this up in VS Code. I'll just leave that on the other window for right now. Uh, and then we can make sure that we generate a scaffold. I'll say Rails G scaffold post. I'll give each post a title a body of type text, something like that. And then we can go ahead and run that. Now let's do a rails db colon migrate command to migrate our database. And then let's do a rails s to start this server. I'm gonna bring over the VS code and I close the getting started page. We're gonna come over to config and routes.rb and set the root of our application to be the host controller index action. It'll take us to our slash post page. We can then go ahead and run this and we'll see we're on the post page. So the first thing I want to do is stop us from being able to create posts if they are empty. To do that, we can come over to our app, our models and our post.rb model. In here, we can hit enter and we can hopefully say that we want to validate the title and body. And then we can just say presence true, just like GitHub Copilot suggesting here and then we can do a validates body for presence true. What this will allow us to do is if we click new post and we click create post, you'll see we get some errors here. Now, this is pretty handy out of the box, but sometimes you might want a bit more flexibility. Maybe you don't just want the title to have a presence, but maybe you wanna make sure that you can't just type in like a, a single uh, period or something like that or uh, you know, just like try and add in an, uh, a weird character. Maybe you wanna have like a minimum length, in which case what we can actually do is we can say that we want to validate that the title has a length of at least five characters, something like that. And what we can do then is we just say this validates the title to have a length of five. Now, if we run this and we refresh and we try to do like one and two, you can click create post and we can see it now says the title's too short. If we backspace off of this, it'll say that the title's too blank and that the title's too short. And if we backspace the body, we see that the body also can't be blank. So you can see we can sort of stack these. Now, the other thing we could do here is we can have another one of these that says uh, validates that, uh, let's just go with the body real quick, at least 10 characters. And then we can uh, once again do that, minimum of 10. But what I wanna do is have another one that just checks, uh, or that validates, let me make sure I break these up a bit. I wanna have another one that validates the maximum length of the title. To do that, we have two options. We can, of course, do one of these, give this a maximum and set this to be like seven, or yeah, seven, let's go with that. And now if we try to do like uh, just mash a bunch of ones and we click create post, you'll see it says the title's too long, but we can also start to stack these in a different way. We can have a length of a minimum of five and a maximum of seven by separating it with commas in here. We can save this and we should get the same results. So if we just try to like fill this up, you'll see that the title is too long and the body is too short. So this naturally raises some questions. What happens if we'd like to uh, write a custom validator? So let's just get a little funky and let's say um, we want the title to have to be in uh, all caps, right? So to do that, we can say uh, create a, uh, let's just say a custom validator that makes sure the title is in all caps. And then we can say validate. This is a singular validate. Uh, and then it, whatever our method is called here. 
So we can just grab this. We come down here, we can create a private, and then we can say def title must be in all caps. And then in here we can say, just like, again, uh, the amazing part about this tutorial so far has been that with this $10 plugin from, from uh, GitHub, uh, it's just writing all the code for me if I type the comments. But we can say, unless the title is equal to the title.upcase, we want to call errors.add for the title and say that it must be in all caps. So if we try to run this and so we come over here and we say, uh, hello, we click create post, you'll see the title must be in all caps. If we type hello, uh, we can then try to create the post and it'll be happy with us once again. We can then come down here and say, I don't know, ASDF, blah, 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 and click create. And we now have our post created. We can edit this. If we get rid of the body and click update, you'll see that we're once again getting yelled at. Now, what happens if we grab the length and set it to seven and a maximum of five? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. A maximum of five, come over here and refresh, click update post, and you'll see that it kind of just does whatever it wants to and they'll both error out. So this is an instance where it would be pretty good to have like a test to make sure that your validators aren't conflicting with each other. Generally, you want to check the edge cases, make sure that all of those are working. Uh, I think that's probably a, uh, a topic for another tutorial. But one other thing we can do is we can say that maybe we want the um, maybe we want to say that the uh, body has to be unique. So you can't just uh, you know copy and paste the same body comment. Do that we can come down here and we can say that we want to validate the uniqueness of the title and body so we'll just do it for both we can come down here and we can say validates title with the uniqueness of true and validates body with the uniqueness of true and of course the natural question becomes uh maybe we should or i guess the thought becomes maybe we should add all of these into a single validator uh, or some kind of validator service so that we're not you know running 200 of these validations at the top of our post. Uh, I'll leave that as an exercise to the viewer to try and create maybe a validator service or something. Uh, but if we try to run this and we come over here and let's just uh, change this to hello and world, just like that, capital hello and maybe a capital world. So we'll just play caps lock simulator. Uh, hello world, uh, one, two, three, four, five, I guess. I'll just copy this. We can update this post. We have this, now let's come back to the posts create a new post with a capital hello, and then we'll paste in the same body. We'll click create post, and we can see that it tells us the title has already been taken and the body has already been taken. Now, the other thing to check, just real quick, is you could run into an issue where, uh, you know, your errors don't necessarily make sense because you've done something silly like this, where it says the body must be in all caps. Um, that is something to uh, you know look out for. So let's do hello and world. Now you'll see here, it tells us the body must be in all caps because we messed up here with our errors.add. So that is one thing. Uh, it's not really something I can help you prevent. Uh, all I will say is to be, I guess, cognizant of the symbol you're putting in here for the errors.add because I have definitely messed up with that before. Now, uh, one other thing is of course, this will also work with like simple form. So let's go ahead and stop this, do a bundle add for simple underscore form. And then we can do a uh, rails g simple underscore form colon install command to install this. And then we can do a uh, bundle or a, a rails s to start our server. If we come over here and we refresh, of course we need to remove this form from being a regular form and instead make it a simple form. So we'll just grab this right here. We'll backspace it. We'll say simple form for posts, something like that. And then we can come down here, simple form for at post do. And then instead of having published, we can get rid of that. We have our input body and our end. And we can come in here and we can just say uh, maybe something like simple form errors. And then we can hopefully get this to uh, uh, have the error notifications appear. Let's come over here, refresh. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Click create post. And we can now see that we have to review the problems below. The title is too short and the body is too short. Of course, I've done no styling here with simple form, but you can see 
but very quickly if you have these error notifications appearing uh, you can have the same validations working so this is just a quick little primer hopefully this is helpful uh, i know that this is like something that's probably obvious to people that use rails a lot but it's something that i skip in most of my videos just because you know you can spend a lot of time getting bogged down on how you want to validate some content and it's something that uh it's really not the focus of a lot of videos so i thought i would just dedicate one quick little one to uh this but yeah hopefully this was interesting hopefully this was helpful and hopefully i will see you in the next video